You're watching the station that works for you. Now, Good Morning Maryland. Well, with it being so cold, you need to keep yourself and your family very protected from these bitterly cold conditions, especially those wind chills can really tear you in half. It's bone chillingly, painfully cold. So Jess Sewell is a physician's assistant with GBMC. She's with us here this morning with some more tips on what you need to know to keep yourself safe during these times. Again, thank you for braving the conditions coming in today. No problem. There is a myth out there that people can be thin-blooded or thick-blooded and their bodies kind of adjust with the colder temperatures. Do we have an internal thermostat that allows us to bear the cold temperatures better? Not exactly. We're not like reptiles, you know, but um, different people have different percentages of body fat and body fat acts as an insulator. Some people simply are more tolerant of cold weather or hot weather. So it's not really as if we have a thermostat, but of course, as with everything else in human beings, there is variability. It's all about preference. Right. So when, we, when we're in these situations, the possibility of frostbite, hypothermia, dehydration, what are some of the warning signs we can be looking out for for others? Well, hypothermia is probably the most prevalent one in this area. And when you're outside for prolonged periods, and it prolonged could be only, you know, 15, 20 minutes when the conditions are like this, where the wind chill is so low in the single digits. Um, warning signs are things like confusion, shivering that doesn't, you know, stop, and weakness, inability to control muscles, and things like that. One of the things you notice when the wind chills really kick up and we get down into those negative numbers, it feels like your facial muscles kind of constrict a little bit. Is that the, is that the body's defense in that time? It's not really so much a defense, it's just a manifestation of the cold. Real, so, real quick, we have 20 seconds for you here, Jess. Mm -hmm. We've got to take care of the kids. We've got to take care of the elderly. What do we need to look out for with them? Same thing. In kids and infants especially, it's lethargy, you know, decreased activity. And with the elderly, I would say confusion. All right, GBMC. Yeah. Jess Sewell, thank you so much for your awesome. time this morning. Thanks. Time now for checking that forecast. We've got to get over to Lynette.